Hi, I'm Jackie Cameron of Jackie Cameron School of Food and Wine and it's so wonderful to have you all here with us today. What we're going to be doing is cooking some new age Christmas celebrational meals for you and hopefully it's going to entice you to cook these in your home. Or if not, where we're getting all these ins this inspiration from is from our brunch restaurant, which our brunch restaurant is open Friday, Saturday, Sunday. From 9 o'clock we take our first booking to 1 o'clock. Some people come and have it as a breakfast, some people come as a brunch, and some people come as a lunch. So, and this way, what are we going to be making? And with our theme this month, being December, it is Christmas and Christmas is our favorite. And on the menu, what we have is a starter trio. We have uh, two main courses, and I will briefly explain each and every one of them, and a dessert. So for the starter trio, we've created a little, um, little three small dishes that you can really enjoy. You can make them large. We have them small, being a starter. <laughs> <laughs> we have a little beetroot salad that we do. We do pickled beetroot, roasted beetroot, some soy toasted walnuts, a little bit of apple, and uh, pink peppercorn uh, vinaigrette. And then going on to our next little dish. A fancy word for something so simple, a dressing. <laughs> And um, going on to our next one, we have a little green salad. Uh, we do cucumber, rocket, fennel, and a delicious fish cake uh, that goes with the green mayo as well. And then the last one we have... And it's a homemade mayonnaise. Yes, everything is homemade. <laughs> <laughs> and then we uh, finish off with a delicious pork pie, homemade puff pastry. I cannot stress how delicious homemade pork puff pastry is. And that is done with a little bit of pork filling, and that goes with an apple puree and julienne apple and mustard. Going on to the next one, sorry, <laughs> the main course. She's, she had to take a deep breath for that. Breath that one. <laughs> All that deliciousness. Going on to the main course, we have two main courses. So but we, just explain the one, the one that we're going to be doing. Perfect. Yeah, we They're going to have to come, you're going to have to come, come and visit. Yes. Come and visit to, to see the second one. one. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> then we have a souffle omelette mm -hmm. and that is done with a delicious um, cheese and cranberry sauce, Mornay sauce, if you want to sound chefy. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do it with some soy, uh, toasted mushrooms, and we finish it off with a delicious beef fillet or beef roast, if you like, just to make it more Christmassy. And um, Isaac Pepe, what Isaac Pepe is, is amasi, cream cheese amasi, that we do with herbs and a delicious prune compote. That's a souffle omelette. And lastly, for dessert, we have New Age Baked Alaska in Chef Jackie's Baking with Jackie Cameron book. <laughs> Find it there. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it's in there, so get the book. <laughs> and yeah, that's entirely what our menu is. Wonderful, thank you very much, Andisa. And what we're going to be doing while we're doing this is because this is a little restaurant that we have on the premises, and I don't run it. Chef Andisa does, and she's one of my past students. So everything that happens in there, if you come and you have a fabulous experience, please thank her. Don't thank me. <laughs> and then also what we do for the students for their practical experience and exposure, they work with Chef Andisa in the kitchen. So. What, who's actually going to be teaching and training you on the recipes today is not myself, is not Andisa, is actually the students. So as we're going through, we're going to be introducing you to the students and they're going to be teaching and training you. So you really can make these recipes in your own home kitchen and I really do want you to. Please do. We'll take your Christmas menu to another level. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Sidney Kuala. And I'm Anya Defina. So now we're on to main course. So what we have for you for you is um, a cheesy souffle omelette uh, with uh, beef, Midlands beef fillet. And then Anya, would you like to explain the rest? Sure. Yeah. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to take my mushrooms that I've chopped and I'm going to put it in some butter and oil. So a nice, nice tip is that you add a bit of oil to your butter that way the butter doesn't start to burn so quickly which is always seems to be a problem when you're cooking at home so what you're going to do is you're going to take these mushrooms and you're going to make them sexy and by that i mean you want to see that beautiful form of butter on the top because it's christmas you need to indulge your guests so go and quickly fry these don't overcook them but just go for it and have some fun so i'm going to quickly go do that while sitting on Okay, so with the omelette, I mean, I love, I love the souffle omelette so much because um, 
it's unlike just a fried egg or a poached egg. Like it's just uh, it doubles in quantity. So what I'm doing right now is I'm I've separated my eggs and I'm whisking my egg my egg white uh, to to uh, stiff peak. And then I'm gonna whisk my egg yolks just so I can I can um, incorporate them into my egg white. So I'm just gonna I'm go I'm gonna fold them in. So you gotta be careful when you when you put them in your egg whites. Uh, you don't want to beat them or yeah, agitate them. You just want to slowly fold them in so you can keep it nice and uh, what's the word? <laughs> nice and fluffy. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm just working that. So yeah, I'm just gonna explain the whole process too. So what I do have on the heat is my pan with my oil. Uh, so after I've whisked this to the steak, I'm gonna add my egg yolks in it, and then I'm gonna fry it on my pan. So I know like most of us don't have uh, salamanders at home, so but I'm just using my salamander to finish it off. So before I put my cheese in, I have to put it under a salamander so it can cook properly. Then I put my cheese and melt it. So I'm using mozzarella cheese. So if you don't have a salamander at uh, so home? So if you don't have a salamander at home, you can use your oven, put it on a um, um, grill, and then yeah, you can just use your oven at home. Is it called a grill? Uh, Broil. Yeah, broil. Yes. What 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 does broil mean? What's the difference between broil and grill? Keep on whisking. <laughs> What's so, the difference between grill and broil? If you think about spirit, yeah. if you think about spirit, it's flame grill, and grill is when there's a flame or a fire to it. So broil is actually what you do in the oven when you um, when you put it in the oven and you have it on a high heat. That's when you broil. Uh, from the top, but if it's grilled, it's from the bottom and it's using a fire. Thank you, Anya. Sure. So yeah, my egg, my egg yolks, my egg whites are being on on stiff peak, as you can see. You just and then what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna quickly rinse it, and then. And then I'm putting my egg yolks in another bowl, separate bowl. Then I'm gonna whisk that. Slowly just whisk that. Then uh, I think this is just about it. Then I'm just gonna add them into my, my whisk egg white. Then I'm gonna fold it in. Let's see, let's see the bowl, please. If you can't see the bowl, tilt it towards us, please. So, yeah, I'm just adding the egg yolks to, to this. Then I'm going to be folding in. So, folding in is just gently folding in. Gently, gently, gently folding in, incorporating the yolks into the whites. Uh, and then I'm just gonna fry that off in the on, on my. I've got already a pan. I've got a pan on the heat. Wow, those look really yeah, good. They are, hey? Just imagine when they in the pan and then, yeah, you see what I meant by I prefer a souffle omelet. So it's just two eggs, but the the quantity has has increased. I mean. It's greater value. I mean, I prefer eating an omelet, any souffle omelet, than just a fried egg. So yeah, I've got this now. So I'm just gonna put it onto my pan. Then I'll show you. Okay. So I've now gone and I've poached my mushrooms. I mean, look how sexy those mushrooms are. Although I must say, I did make a mistake. It's not poaching. It is more frying. Sorry. <laughs> but um, so what I've done now is I've got some beef fillet that I've pan seared. Um, it looks like this. It looks very beautiful. So we've got some beautiful Midlands beef and I must say the quality is just amazing. So you can use anything you want. So if you're vegetarian, don't fret. You can still do this dish. Just replace the meat with something you prefer. So maybe you want more mushrooms and that's all right. Then do that. Um, or if you maybe had a roast the day before, uh, a chicken roast or something, then use the chicken. Just do what is possible for you. Um, so what I'm now going to do is I'm just going to slice it up for the omelette. 
Sydney, what are you doing? Yeah, so I've got my egg, my egg on um, the pan. So I'm just gonna fry that now. Then I'm just gonna show you how it looks after, uh, before I put it under the salamander. Oh, that beef looks yummy, Anya. I know. Almost want to drop some on the floor. So <laughs> just test that it tastes all right. <laughs> you, can't, you can never beat a beef for it. Oh, never. Uh, never, never, never. Uh, so um, it is important that you have grated your cheese as well. That is always important because you want a lovely cheesy omelette. So we have here mozzarella, but you could use cheddar if you want to, or maybe even parmesan. But I do say, I do think that the mozzarella tastes a bit better in the omelette itself. And then we've got here, um, we've got some mass that we've taken through a muslin cloth, which is, um, you could also use another cloth or um, an oil filter, but I do know those aren't very common here. Um, and then what you do is you take the mask through and you leave it overnight so that all that liquid just drips out. And then you can add any kind of herbs you want. So we've added parsley here, but if you wanted to, you could add cucumber, anything fresh that you would like to add to your omelette. So uh, this is my souffle omelette. So you can just basically see the top is not cooked, but if I lift underneath, you can just like see that it's cooked. So now, what I meant by putting it under a broiler or a salamander is just so that it can cook on top. So I'm just going to do that now. Of course. And then we've got this. So this is a prune compote, which is kind of like a, a blot young, like a fruit blot young. And all you do is you take all your ingredients together. So prunes, onions, you could even add some dried apricot if you wanted to. And you're going to take it with water and sugar to the boil and just for about 45 minutes to an hour you just let it uh, simmer softly and then you get that beautiful sticky consistency which we're looking for when we're going to top the omelette um, and then also we have um, a, sorry i've lost my train of thought so um, we also have a mornay sauce which is a fancy word for a cheese sauce so if you do want to impress the in-laws you can just go well i made a mornay sauce for christmas so um, all we've done is we've taken, uh, we've made a cheese sauce, uh, but we've infused our milk, which uh, we just think brings a lot more flavor. So you can infuse your milk with anything. You can infuse it with nutmeg, cinnamon, vanilla, anything. So vanilla will more be a dessert kind of uh, uh, infusion, but you can also do um, nutmeg, which I find is more Christmassy, I personally think. Um, and then you can, we added cherries to ours, so it's just up to you. Um, so Sydney is coming back now with his cheese. So we tell them what we're going to add to it. Sure. So I've just taken it out of the salamander. So now I'm just going to add cheese just on one, on, on one side. And then I'm going to put it back on so the cheese can melt. Of course. Okay. So I've got all my toppings ready now. Um, and... Anything else you want to say, Sydney? Yeah, I do hope that you, you enjoy making these uh, amazing, fabulous recipes at home. Yeah. yeah, I think it's very important. I think Christmas really is a time for spending with family. Even during this COVID time, you need to be safe, but also just, I think after such a rough year that we all need to spend time with our family. And I think food really does connect us in that way. Um, I mean, I think almost all of our earliest memories of Christmas has to do with food. So, so if you, you can see, my cheese has melted, so we're just going to put our filling. Yes. So we've got some sexy mushrooms. We've got some beautiful beef fillet. And then, are you ready to hold it? Where's the white sauce? Ooh, let me go. <laughs> Yeah, so as you can see, it's looking nice and sexy. So we're just gonna finish it with, um, we're just gonna finish it with the Mornay sauce. Just can't wait to dig into this. <laughs> so, <laughs> so where did the Mornay sauce come from? I left it. I talked about it. 
about it, but I forgot to um, say about it. Okay, so we don't I think, want to see the base of the pen. So I think for everyone, a very important point is just to make a checklist for Christmas. So you don't forget to make anything. Because I know this is not the first time that I've forgotten about something and it's sitting somewhere just waiting to be used. So this is how you fold it. And then I think we're going to just finish it off with um, yes. some herbs. Yes, we're going to add some herbs to it. Yes. So you can add as much as you want because this is going to taste really lovely. It's going to be a, a lovely Mixing. crisp start. Um, so it will be just absolutely gorgeous. And there's the compot. You can add as much as you want. It all depends on you what your flavor tastings are like. And then you can just add your garnish. So we've used these micro herbs. Wonderful. Um, so, and person. So there you have it, your sexy souffle omelette, savory, filled with beef fillet, Mornay sauce, mushrooms. Um, uh, oh, you're gonna make me say it, Isik Plekle, which is the moss. <laughs> I'm so sorry for the pronunciation. <laughs> oh, <it's fine>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so once again, hopefully the students have taught you some skills that you can use. And this omelette, uh, you wouldn't be using, you wouldn't be doing for Christmas your main course. But it's such a wonderful... Um, option to to use for your breakfast on Christmas Day or on Boxing Day. Yeah. Well, whatever's left over, I would even put if you had some gammon left over, I would slice it up, shred it, stuff it, in, it, stuff yeah. it in. You don't need to add white sauce. Just put a lot, lots of cheese. In an omelette, I think you really need a lot of cheese, and then anything else in there is going to be delicious. I mean, if you've got cheese and you've got a souffle omelette, yes. it's going to be delicious. It's gourmet. It's, <laughs> it's going to be stunning. Yes. But this is one of the options. So this would form, as you can see, it's a very substantial um, portion, and this would form a main course on our menu. Like we said, we do have two options, but you have to come and have brunch with us to find out what the other option is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, when you want to take your omelettes to the next level, why not make it a souffle omelette? There we go. <laughs> <laughs>